When one looks at a Vermeer painting, it is easy for your eyes to wander onto the brightly colored clothing. In the case of this painting, Mistress and Maid, our eyes immediately fall upon the distinctively bright yellow jacket of the mistress. This jacket makes an appearance in five other paintings by Vermeer, including the lady writing and the woman with a pearl necklace pictured here. This particular jacket was cataloged in Vermeer's death inventory as a, quote, yellow satin mantle with white fur trimmings, end quote, and most likely belonged to his wife, Katerina Bowles. The use of yellow dye in textiles was not a rare occurrence, though in the 16th century, yellow became a symbol of Judas, the disciple who betrayed Jesus Christ. Yellow became associated with ideas of envy and jealousy, therefore decreasing its popularity in clothing. The color yellow is very abundantly found in nature, but easily fades away when exposed to ultraviolet light. One natural dye that wasn't susceptible to sunlight was Dyer's Rocket, or Weld. Due to it being light fast, it was the most preferred dye by professional dyers. Weld only grows in temperate climates and was originally from Southwest Asia and the Eastern Mediterranean. It eventually became naturalized in Europe and North Africa. Weld was cultivated in large amounts in France and even grew in the wild of Italy at one point. It eventually made its way into the hands of American dyers, but never gained as much popularity as it had in Europe. The use of weld as a dye dates back to the first millennium BC. Weld continued to be the most commonly used yellow dye until the late 19th century when synthetic dyes became cheaper to produce. During the time of Vermeer's painting, a new source of yellow was introduced into Europe through the Columbian Exchange. This new dye was known as Old Fustic, or Dyer's Mulberry. Originally, Spanish explorers brought the dye back to the Old World and it gained popularity from around 1600 to 1850. How this connects to Vermeer is that during this time, Holland was experiencing the Dutch Golden Age, thanks in part to the VOC, or Dutch East India Company. Considering that Vermeer lived in Delft, home to an office of the VOC, it is not out of the question to believe that Vermeer's yellow jacket was possibly dyed with Old Fustic or a combination of Old Fustic and another dye. Old Fustic is indigenous to the tropics of the New World, specifically Brazil and the West Indies. Conveniently for Dutch dyers, the VOC had trade routes in both areas. The harvesting of the dye was easy in comparison to weld. Old Fustic's dye comes from the wood of its tree. Harvesters would simply chop down the tree and take it back to Europe. No need to cultivate the plant itself like weld. Throughout the 16th and 17th centuries, Holland was one of the most important financial centers and dyeing industry center in Europe. The Dutch GWC or Dutch West India Company had a trade monopoly in the West Indies and had trade jurisdiction in Brazil. It would have been much cheaper to cut down an old fustic tree in the Amazon and bring it back to Holland than to buy weld from another country like France. It is here that we can see how from simply looking at a painting from the 17th century, we can catch a glimpse as to how the old world and the new world were connected. 